Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. Thirsty? Have a drink. Take your pick. Now I know what you're thinking. The one on the left. Because it looks relatively clear. Where the one on the right looks pretty grody, right? This is some river water that I pulled out of a local waterway a couple weeks ago. And five or six days ago, I put it through the blender. In fact, this is actually a sports drink container for the blender. I can take this cap off and put this right on the blender and mix it up. And I sat there and I whirled that up and got all that particulate matter in the water ground up as good as I could. This water has been setting for a good four or five days. And as you can see, it's still not clear. Now, common sense would dictate that when you have particulate matter float around in water, you simply let it set long enough. The lighter stuff will float to the top. The heavy stuff will sink to the bottom. You skim off the light stuff, then you can siphon off the good water in the, in the middle and leave a little bit of water with the heavy stuff at the bottom to throw away and everything in here will be uh, potable. The problem is, is there's still material in here that is neutrally buoyant. It is the same weight, in other words, it takes up the same volume with the same density as the water is. So it's not lighter than water, it's not heavier than the water. It is the same volume and mass as the water molecules. So it's neutrally buoyant. It, it, it won't float to the top and it won't sink to the bottom. Now, if you took water like this and ran it through a filter, if you're looking for a small amount of water like this, it isn't going to be a problem. But if you're looking to do this on a large scale, in other words, provide water for a lot of people or provide water for yourself over an extended period of time, your filter is going to get clogged up. And that's the problem with mechanical filters is they eventually clog up. Now, some of them can be back flushed and cleaned out. Some of them can be have that done, but there's a limited amount that you can do that. Eventually, they're going to get to the point where they simply will not filter water. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this water potable without a filter. And we're going to use something called aluminum sulfate. Now, I've got it here in an ice cream container because this is was a lot easier to store than the package it came in. I got, I think it was like four pounds of this for $13 or $14. And you buy it at a uh, garden center. And I buy it in this rough powder form. It's not as fine as salt and it's not as coarse as rock salt. It's almost like uh, a little bit finer than ice melt, but you can see that it's got some granularity to it. We're going to use this aluminum sulfate. And what it does is it, it will attract to it these, to the aluminum sulfate, will attract all this neutrally buoyant particulate matter collect it so it is heavier and it will sink to the bottom. So first off, we need to make our concentrate. And I'm going to make the concentrate using, this is a tablespoon. I'm going to put two tablespoons here in the, this jar. I need that, I guess. And then I'm going to put in 16 ounces of water. Now, like I say, this is going to make a concentrate. And when you stop and think how much water you're going to be able to treat with this, you're going to think, that's a pretty good idea. So we're going to close this up. And we're going to mix it up really good. So I'm going to fast forward through this part of the video because I'm going to be shaking this for quite a while. Okay, after about a minute of shaking that up, we're ready to go. Now, this is our concentrate. We're only going to put in about a half a tablespoon in this 16 ounce container. Actually, I guess this is more like 20 ounce, I think. Yeah, it's 20 ounce, so I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm going to put a little over a half a tablespoon. Now I'm just get I'm just kind of gonna guess this. Now once I put this in, I've got a tablet here. I'm gonna set up and hopefully take a timeless video of how this at or not showing it, but you know showing how it works. So I'm gonna take about a half a tablespoon. And again, I'm just guessing on this. That looks about like it. I'm gonna set that in there. Thank you. 
And now I need to stir this up. I need to get that concentrate all mixed up into this water. So again, I'm going to speed this part of the video up. Yeah, that's what that water looked like to begin with when I pull it out of the, the river. Would you drink that? So naturally, the heavier material will automatically sink to the bottom. The lighter material will rise to the top, but everything that was making that dirty looking is going to be attracted to the aluminum aluminum sulfate. I don't know why I want to call it aluminum sulfide. I'm not a chemist. So let's get that good and mixed up. I'm going to bring the uh, tablet over here, set it up, and we'll take a time lapse and see how well this works. Like I say, this was originally sitting here for four or five days and it still wasn't cleaned out. Let's see if we can speed that process up, shall we? Now, the next minute of this video is actually a time lapse of two hours total of this water just sitting there on my table. It isn't going to get everything out of it. It's going to get a lot of the very fine particulate matter out that would clog up a filter. So this is basically a pre-filter system. Now, if you think this is a science trick and it's very dangerous, just understand a lot of cities do this as part of their normal municipal water supply systems. Third world countries, they use this all the time in places that don't have water systems. People have to use local sources and they use this exact same method to, to pre-treat their water to get a lot of that particular matter out. This is a very known, proven system. You're just doing it on a much smaller scale at a, at a lot less dollar amount and a lot less of this uh, aluminum sulfate material. But you can see after two hours, that bottle is just almost perfectly clear. I'm going to say it's probably over 90% done. And there you have it. There's still a little bit of particulate matter I can see floating around. It's not perfectly clear, but if I tap this, I can see where a lot of that stuff is now falling down. I don't know whether it just has to do with this material or whether it's just, you're always going to have, you know, you're probably always going to have something left in here. It's not going to get rid of everything. But at this point, I'm going to say that water is probably 95 to 96, 97% filtered. All you need to do is skim the stuff off the top that's floating and then drain this off. If you upscale this to a five gallon bucket, you would be able to just simply take a small cup and scoop off the top, off the stuff off the top. And then you can probably pour out a good three and a half, four gallons of perfectly clear water and maybe just let it set at an angle and then pour off another half a gallon. So you might get four, four and a half gallons of good usable water, which you can further filter through a regular filter system and not have all of this crap that's down here in the bottom. I mean, I'm, that is just nasty looking stuff down there at the bottom. That would fill up or clog up a, a filter really fast. So by getting rid of 95, 96, 97% of the stuff that's just floating around in there, um, you're going to save on your filter. So at this point, go ahead and filter it. And then, you, of course, this is only filtering for particulate matter. You've still got to treat it for biological, the little creepy crawlies that might be in there, boiling it or um, purifying it, or pasteurizing it, uh, distilling it, whatever you want to do. And then you still might have some chemical contamination you want to work with. But either way, that's a way that you can use aluminum sulfate to help clean your water, either on a camping trip, a backpack trip, or grid down situation. So get yourself some aluminum sulfate, like this four pound uh, package, not this package, but four pounds of it was like 12, 13, 14 dollars, something like that at the store. So, and I, I'd have to figure out, but I think it's thousands of gallons that this, this container would treat. So it's, it's a good prep to have in your preps, good item to have in your preps, and will filter your water. So, better living through chemistry. This is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out there on the trail.